let me uh, start. Uh, the title was announced. Uh, what I'm going to tell about? I'm going to tell about the results which were um, investigated during the ha last half a year. And I, what I'm going to say? First of all, uh, just to remind, I'm going to say about the classical crane millman's theorem. Then I'm going to show how this theorem works in the special class of non-linear operators, namely homogeneous polynomials. I'll present a crane millman type theorem uh, for homogeneous polynomials. Then I'm going to show a uh, Cleese theorem in details a little bit later for a special class of homogeneous polynomials named orthogonally additive polynomials. And also I'm going to present an um, uh, idea for a future research, which uh, seems to me to be very interesting. So first, several uh, definitions. Mm. I'll just remind and try to be very fast in this part of my talk. Uh, first of all, we call uh, uh, a subset of a vector uh, space C convex if together with two points X and Y, it contains uh, the uh, line segment, or let me call it interval, uh, is also in included in this uh, set. This is convex set. We call con we define convex hole, convex hole of an arbitrary set. Uh, in further, I will define by a arbitrary set and by c convex set. So uh, a convex hole of an arbitrary set a, a subset of uh, vector space is the smallest uh, by inclusion convex set uh, include which includes a. And uh, it is not difficult to, to see, to uh, prove that the convex uh, hole of an arbitrary set is uh, calculated as follows. This is the convex combination of elements from A. Uh, so as we are talking about uh, extreme points, I have to in, uh, introduce what is extreme point. <coughs> An arbitrary uh, element X from C is called extreme point if it is uh, not the inner point of any line segment in C. And there are several equivalent uh, definitions of extreme point. I'm not uh, stopping here, just you can see them on the slide. They're all equivalent. Maybe interesting is the last one. Uh, it is called Cleese definition, according to which um, if we do the following, if we extract the extreme points from point from the uh, convex set C, uh, the result will be again convex. So also a, a notation we uh, denote by this symbol X C as the space of all extreme points of a convex set C. Ah, just a visualization of extreme points, also very fast. Uh, in two-dimensional LP space for, with different three norms, L1, L2, L infinity, we can see the unit balls uh, corresponding to the uh, norms. And we can see that uh, in the case when we are uh, in L1 or L infinity, uh, unit ball, the uh, extreme points are the vertices of uh, uh, rhombus and uh, square. And in the case when we work in L2 space with unit ball, which is a circle, the uh, extreme points are the boundary of this circle. Uh, also, uh, not very difficult stu structure uh, can be uh, written or can be obtained for the um, uh, classical Banach spaces. I'm not stopping here. I mean the structure of uh, extreme points. And uh, for uh, uh, an general class or for, for, for another class of convex, uh, convex, um, uh, convex sets, uh, we have the classical fundamental result uh, obtained in 1940 by Crane and Milman, which says that a compact convex subset of a locally convex topological vector space can be recovered by its uh, by following way, it coincides with the uh, closure of the convex hole of x extreme extreme points. Uh, so this is just a notation. Here, yeah, by this symbol, we uh, denote the topological closure of the convex hull of in in this case of uh, the uh, set C. Uh, 
Uh, and here an interesting question arises naturally. Uh, what can be done? Does this theorem is true when we are working not with compact spaces, when our uh, convex set is not compact, but a kind of compactness, something like that. And uh, it's, uh, right now I am talking about uh, locally compactness. Uh, this is uh, the uh, situation when every point of C has a, a compact neighborhood. And the question was, what happens in that way? And it turned out that it is not enough to use only a, a it is not enough to use only uh, extreme points. Something has to be added to describe this space. And it, it turned out that uh, it, it was necessary to add so-called extreme rays. Here on the picture uh, you can see them. And let me give the definition. An extreme ray of um, um, convex set C is an open half line. I will show them here on the picture illustration. Uh, is an open half line row such that any line segment joining a points X and Y in C lies entirely on Rho, provided that uh, there is at least one inner point in line segment XY, which is in Rho. Uh, this is the uh, extreme ray. And uh, here on the picture, uh, you can see the visualization. And we de denote the uh, set of extreme rays of uh, subset C by this uh, symbol. And the um, next theorem is was proved in 1958 by Klee, and it says that if we have a closed convex uh, locally compact subset of a locally convex topological space uh, which do not contain straight lines, then it is uh, recovered by the following way. Let me show it on the picture and also by, by, by red formula you can see uh, what I want to say. Okay. It is equal to what? We take, uh, this space, I mean, coincides with the following. We take the, uh, it is very simple uh, illustration, but in any case, it shows what I want to say. Uh, we take the extreme points, here are they. Uh, we uh, take the extreme rays of this uh, set. We take the convex hole and then we add the extreme points in the appropriate topology. So this result was uh, obtained for not uh, compact spaces, but uh, locally compact uh, subsets, I mean. And then a natural question arised. What if we are working not with... Um, so we are working with sets of opera subsets of operators. Uh, this means that uh, we have a linear operator, subset of a set of linear operators. This is the notation acting from uh, some Banach space to Banach space, for example. More precisely, what we want to uh, find out. Uh, what we want to find out. Uh, first is under what additional conditions a convex set of uh, operators can be recovered by its extreme points or maybe extreme rays. And the second, uh, pro uh, yes, and this one is called the existence problem. And the second one, the recovery problem, uh, asks, uh, is it e enough to use only two operations of uh, convex hole and closure to uh, handle with the uh, recovery problem? So, um, I just put it on the slide because I was afraid to uh, forget to say that. And let me uh, say what I want to say. To um, handle with this pro with existence problem, one can try to find a locally convex topology on the space of operators under which the appropriate convex set gonna be compact. And uh, then application of Crane, classical crane minimum theorem gives the uh, yield, uh, yield result. And uh, the reason why the, uh, why uh, this uh, approach, which I uh, announced, do not immediately uh, give us the desired result is the, um, the, the problem that the, not all subsets of linear operators are compact, or uh, maybe it will be better to say they are compact in, some, in very uh, special cases. So, um, uh, the interest in Crane-Minman's type theorem was raised by the um, 
a series of works by Phelps and his co-authors in 1960s. Uh, here I list far not uh, the full list. There are many of them. I just uh, listed several of them. And also I want to show one typical result of uh, which is presented in these uh, works. Uh, no, not very in details, just to explain what I want, to, what, what uh, Morris and his colleagues were investigating and what they were obtaining. Uh, what um, uh, first notations maybe by this symbol we denote the space of linear operators acting from uh, Banach space to the space of um, continuous uh, operators on uh, uh, they had to use a totally disconnected uh, compact yeah, so uh, they uh, observed the unit ball B from uh, this space, from the space of linear operators acting from Banach space to CK space. And they uh, proved that uh, it coincides with the following thing. Let me open all the bullets here and uh, you can see the definitions. But let me say in simple words, um, it coincide this unit ball coincides with what here are the extreme points of a uh, unit ball and here is the closure of the um, uh, of the convex operator hole of uh, this set yes and the definitions are presented here they are uh, nothing very difficult uh, they are very similar to what we presented before uh, the difference is that uh, here in the um, uh, convex combination, we see lambda 1 plus lambda 2, which are the operators in ZK, uh, continuous operators uh, on K. And uh, such that uh, their sum is unitary ele element on K. And also convex uh, operator, operator convex hull is also defined here. So uh, this is the typical result. Um, and after that, uh, about 30 years, plenty of authors were trying to find uh, the generalization of this fact, because what was done? They were all trying to uh, to observe different cases when here you can use maybe a zero space or something like that. So what is the most general form of these uh, theorems? The most general form of crane milman theorem for linear operators. Uh, again, not the full list of um, uh, results obtained on this direction, but I want to emphasize that the most general to the present moment uh, results were obtained in these two works. Um, and as it turned out, the most general case is when we work with vector lattices. This is the um, notion which already was announced uh, today. I just uh, not going into details, I just uh, show you the direct definition of it. Uh, yes, and uh, I, I, I just say that a real vector space is called a vector lattice when it is equipped with the notion uh, with, with the notion of relation. And for any two elements, there exists a supremum and infimum in it. Uh, it is always better to speak about examples and uh, let me say that all classical Banach spaces are vector lattices where the ordering is introduced uh, by the following way. When we, uh, when we uh, work with function space, it is introduced pointwise the ordering and when we speak about the um, uh, sequence spaces, the ordering is uh, introduced coordinate wise. And also, uh, again, for better understanding of what I am talking about, I suggest you to keep, each time when I say vector lattice, I suggest you to keep in mind the L0 space. Uh, it is, uh, simplifies uh, what I am talking about, but, uh, and do not uh, damage anything in our um, discussion. Uh, some more necessary, some more necessary uh, definitions, but maybe uh, for now I will omit them.
Yes, and of course I have to define a homogeneous polynomial because uh, I'm trying to generalize all this theory for the <coughs> objects with which I'm working and these are uh, homogeneous polynomials. Okay, let x and y be vector lattices for the definition it doesn't matter spaces or, or lattices, let it they, they be vector spaces in general. So a mapping P acting from x to y is said to be an homogeneous polynomial polynomial if for some multilinear operator phi acting from the Cartesian product of x n times 2y um, the following uh, decomposition is uh, possible. Uh, this, uh, you see that we take the uh, multilinear operator and the diagonal operator and then we get the polynomial. So, so uh, defined uh, equation it defines polynomial and homogeneous polynomial n is the power of uh, this polynomial so-called uh, here phi is called generating for p and uh, in the case when phi is symmetric then it's unique and it is called associated for p and denoted by this symbol p check uh, to show you that this definition is nothing more than the uh, polynomial to which you are used, let me show uh, a little example. As I promised, uh, when I say a vector lattice, let us think, keep in mind L0 space. And what we do, we take a linear operator uh, acting from x to L0. Uh, we uh, take the values of this um, uh, operator on x and uh, raise them to the power of n and what we got uh, what we get uh, is the uh, n homogeneous poly polynomial uh, we can uh, ensure in this uh, because the associated multilinear operator then is defined as follows uh, obviously if we take x1 equal to xn to x uh, we will get this this guy. So all, one more notation. Uh, we denote by this symbol the space of n homogeneous uh, polynomials acting from uh, x to uh, f. Uh, and yeah, by this symbol we uh, denote the cone of positive polynomials on x. Uh, some more uh, necessary definitions uh, we will need the it is a technique definition it is needed for uh, the technique of proof which i am not uh, presenting that's why i just uh, show you uh, that uh, we use it by the way a vector lattice is said to be dedicated complete it is a foreign um, a notion but in russian literature it is called it was mentioned uh, today already by professor kusraev that in russian language it is called uh, kantarovich space uh, of uh, it is used as K space. In uh, foreign literature you can find also uh, Kantarovich space and K space, uh, but uh, more often they say that they can complete. So a vector lattice is said to be a Kantarovich space. Uh, if for non-empty order bounded uh, subset there exists supremum and infimum in F. And also uh, uh, the necessary definitions, uh, I, I will need these definitions. Okay, an arbitrary uh, set omega in the space of uh, n homogeneous polynomials from x to f is called pointwise order bounded uh, if the set omega x is order bounded in f for all x from x. And it is called pointwise order closed or all closed if for every net pi in omega and for every polynomial uh, n homogeneous polynomial from the fact that uh, mm, this net pi i x is all convergent to pi x px uh, then it follows that p is in omega and now we are uh, re re not not ready not yet Mm, here are again the definitions. I'm just uh, d duplicating them because uh, here, uh, as I suggested, we uh, instead of the vector lattice we put L0, and I just thought that it is necessary to write here what is operator convexness and what is uh, oh, oh sorry and what is operator convex hull. Here is the same definitions as we discussed before, and uh, also uh, the con uh, the convex hull of uh, uh, convex operator hall can be calculated as follows. This is the again the uh, convex combination of uh, elements 
pi e, uh, where uh, lambda i uh, in sum gives us the unitary uh, operator on y. On y. Oh, no, sorry, not on y, but on L0, because uh, this is misprint. Okay. And now we are ready to formulate the first main result of this uh, talk. It is crane minimum type theorem for homogeneous polynomials. And uh, it is the following. If we take an arbitrary, arbitrary subset of a space of n homogeneous polynomials acting from uh, arbitrary vector space to dedicated complete vector lattice, which is pointwise order bounded, operator co convex and pointwise order closed, then it coincides with the following. Again, the set of extreme points of omega, uh, the convex hall or convex operator hall of this set, and we take the uh, order closure of this guy. Uh, I want to emphasize that uh, for the linear case when n is equal to 1, here this n, yeah, when it's equal to to 1, we get the linear case, and it was proved in 1982 by Professor Kutatoladze and Professor Kusraev. <clears throat> uh, uh, similarly, the general form of the Cleese <coughs> theorem, which I presented in at the beginning, uh, was for linear operators, was also obtained by Professor Kutatoladze in 1985. Uh, but a polynomial version is still in progress. I'm not ready to present it here, but a little bit later in the end, I will, uh, in the end of my talk, I will show you the idea how to uh, get it. And now I want to present you the Cleese uh, type theorem for a special class of polynomials, namely uh, orthogonally additive polynomials. And what is this class. A polynomial is called orthogonally additive if it is additive on the on any pair of disjoint elements x and y. Uh, to to um, to explain what does means of disjointness of two elements, let us again think that E is a L0 space and we call two functions uh, disjoint if um, if their supports do not intersect. So uh, we denote by this symbol the space of uh, orthogonally additive and homogeneous polynomials acting from E to F. And we uh, several definitions, I will skip them. And uh, yes, and let me introduce you the second main result obtained uh, about this uh, theory, which says that three conditions are equivalent. Uh, first of them is um, actually Klee theorem for, uh, poly, uh, for uh, functionals. The second one is um, Klee type theorem for um, uh, po orthogonally additive polynomials with real values. And the third one is the main one, uh, according uh, which is obtained for orthogonally additive Oh, orthogonally additive polynomials, the cone of the cone of orthogonally positive uh, additive polynomials, according to which it coincides. According to this uh, result, it coincides again. We can see uh, almost the same, but not the same exactly. Uh, we take the space of uh, homomorphisms. These are the operators which uh, preserve modulus. Um, we take the operator a convex hall of it and we uh, take the uh, order cl cl closeness of it. Yeah. So we obtain the Klee type theorem for um, orthogonally additive polynomials. Uh, and also I want to uh, emphasize you, emphasize that in Klee's variant theorem, we work not with arbitrary convex compact set, but we work with the, the cone of positive elements, because uh, I still don't know how to work with arbitrary convex compact uh, subset. Uh, and as I promised you, I have several. Ah, no. Uh, just to, just want to emphasize then in a linear case when n is equal to one, this result was proved by a British mathematician Anthony Wickstead in 1981. It's just a linear form of the previous result, uh, which 
uh, as I see, is uh, generalized. And uh, as I promised you, I have several um, uh, thoughts about how to move uh, uh, on with uh, this prob problematic. And it seems to me that I have a hypothesis which uh, it seems to me uh, can be proved that uh, that for the class of not orthogonally additive but a whole class of polynomials and homogeneous polynomials, we can get the following representation. I mean that the uh, positive cone here can be uh, reconstructed or recovered or approximated by this formula. It seems to be true, but it has to be uh, checked. So I guess this is all. Thank you for attention.